That's the worry for sure. Mike Let's get to the stuff we want to see. Peyton Pritchard, okay? Yes. Excellent. So, thought he was get to man. Yeah, I thought he was outstanding, and it's exactly what the bill on him out of the draft was, relentless. He, nothing scared him at all about going at that team tonight, even defensively, switching on to Embiid, one of those possessions Even got in killed, the first half, but, it, even before it became total scrub time in the second half, his first appearance when he first went out there, he looked like he belonged. Yeah, he bombs into the paint, the pull-up shots. Not the best for three-point shooting night ever, but a good debut here all around from him. And he gets the early minutes, too. As we get started talking about some of these rookie minutes, he was the first guy off the bench in rotation as a secondary ball handler for them. You know, Jeff T comes in and gets some more in the third quarter. But uh, the trust there is immediate, not only from Danny Ainge at the top, but Brad Stevens has talked glowingly of him. We'll get into some of the Aaron Naismith uh situation i guess you could call it yeah and i'm interested in talking about that too, but, but yeah. pritchard all around looks like he's ready to go right now and that's what you expect out of a four-year college player coming in yeah um, i mean like i said earlier about the comfort level he just looked like someone that just like he's been in the league before and and obviously when he first checks in and knocks down a three-pointer it, it showed um offensively as a facilitator i love the way he pushes the ball uh the intensity it seems like he's always a constant threat for opposing defenses. I mean, this is the secondary, ideal secondary playmaker that the Celtics really need right now. The, the Brad Watermaker, if you will, with maybe a little bit of uh, upside and, and and being that, you know, he, he's out of college four years out of college and has a lot of, it looks like in my opinion, a very high, high uh, basketball IQ. Well, he's got the handles. So, so it he does have the handles. Yeah. on that that's, a bit. That's, yeah. that's the best part is. <laughs> this guy was a machine in college. There is no doubt about that. The question was, would it translate? And tonight it did. Right. But the fact just the fact that he's able to he's so confident. Like we've one of those kids. Yeah. He's so confident with the ball in his hands that that translates. And it did translate at this level because he's able to handle, he's able to navigate, and he's able to, you know, get to places. Uh, you know, um, and and I, I I all night long he looked like somebody who absolutely did not look out of place at all. Right. And honestly, it didn't take more than like five minutes into the, or however many minutes into the NBA season for me to miss Tommy Heinsohn because what would he have been saying about Peyton Pritchard this entire game? If Tommy Heinsohn's, you know, in, in the booth right now, he's like, wow, this, I'll tell you, this guy, he reminds me of Danny Ainge or he reminds me of Bob Cousy or he would have been naming like guys left and right that Peyton Pritchard reminds him of because he does seem like, listen, I'm not going to overhype Peyton Pritchard at this point, but he seems like a player that belongs in the NBA, right? And I think I texted it to you guys. I was like, he's already done more than Romeo has done in his NBA career. And it's and he's five minutes into his preseason career. Like he already just kind of He's feel shown better. more. Yeah, he's shown more. Like he already you already just kind of feel better about like what this guy could possibly do to help the team. He's not gonna, you know, drop thirty points and he's not Tyler Hero or anything like that. But what I'm saying is like he actually looks like a player who can contribute off the bench, which Believe it or not, it's something that we rarely have been able to say over the last few years, um, you know, especially this early into, you know, this stage into this into the preseason even and to say, oh, it looks like Danny Ainge may have, may have, you know, gotten a guy here late in the first round that we could actually, you know, use. We've done this before, so be careful. <laughs> and know, around but, the league, I mean, we're not going to get into it too much yet, but they're starting to, you're starting to see some of the guys who went around that spot or later. We're starting to tear it up a little bit. We're going to drive us crazy later. I'm thinking of Malachi Flynn up in Toronto, but we'll wait on that. <laughs> Thank you.